it's Christine and uh, I'm here with my second Booktubeathon video and I'm not doing any video challenges or any of those things. I'm just giving you a bit of an update and telling you what I've been doing instead of reading and making videos. Um, I might have been excited about reading books and experimenting with video making for a week. But then life happened, and I couldn't do some of the things that I wanted to do, and others got lost in things that I suddenly thought would be a great idea to do. Immediately. No waiting. <laughs> so, here are some things you can do instead of reading. <laughs> Go fishing. Yeah. Really. I did that. Clean. My room is shiny, and there is no dust anywhere, and I've been cleaning it a lot this year. <laughs> And I'm seriously, right now, I'm seriously considering scrubbing my friend's kitchen. Yeah. No. Video games. They're fun, and they tell stories, and they might not be what you're supposed to do, but an hour won't hurt, right? Yeah. See you in five hours. Baking. Mmm, I can really go for a muffin right now. Or some rhubarb pie. Ugh. Painting your fingernails, then your toenails, and then you need a top coat, right? Yeah. Oh no, that was wrong. Best start over. Yeah. Or not. Play a lot of pointless games on Facebook or whatever. Uh, Candy Crush, Pearl's Tarot, Criminal Case, or Pet Rescue Saga, for instance. I haven't been playing all of them. I promise. Tumblr. Make sure it's on endless scroll. Get up to a new TV series. I highly recommend the, the X-Files. All nine seasons of it. Plus the movie. I mean, I hear it starts to suck. But, you know. When you start something, you gotta finish it, right? Sleep. I mean, this is a necessity. But, 12 hours? Maybe not. Hang out in the library and moan over the fact that they don't have any of the books you want to read while having 50 of them at home. It's sort of related to what you're supposed to be doing, right? Now, in all serious re seriousness, I have read quite a bit this week. Uh, not as much as I would have wanted, of course, and I certainly haven't made any videos. I've been in places where I didn't think I would be, where there haven't been enough stuff to make the videos or enough books. I've just not been able and also uncomfortable doing it in houses with a lot of people. So that hasn't happened and I don't think it's going to happen for the next couple of days either. Uh, I'm just not that creative, I guess. Um, but I have read and well, I've got some challenges done, or started, rather. Um, first one, I have read, the first book I read, which I picked up the library randomly, it wasn't really something that I intended to read at all this week, and that was Death Note. Um, this is Black Edition, which is volumes one and two of, 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 of the whole series. Um, there are 13 books, I think, in that. 12? I, I, 12? Yeah, don't know uh, exactly. I've read this before. Uh, it's a reread for me in a way. I never finished the series though, so this time around I will. Uh, I would have read more than volume one, uh, but the library had loaned out number two. And so yeah, I mean I know what happens, but I, I want to read it in order. And even though it's, I've read those as well. Um, so yes, I read this, and this is really good by the way, if you haven't read this, you should. It's fun. And also it has pictures, so that's challenge done. The second book I have read, sorry about the sun by the way, is Anna Dressed in Blood. This takes off a book someone else chose for me, because Kat chose this, I actually borrowed it from her, so yay for that, and it's also uh, part one of the finishing the ser a series, and the other one being the second, this is the Anna Duology, so the second being Girl of Nightmares, which I intend to start today. I finished this five minutes ago, maybe, and 
and it's I liked it. It was fun and entertaining and it, a quick read really. I just I spent forever on it, but mo mostly procrastinating, uh, not for any other reason. Yes. Um. So those two books are books that I finished. I also have a few hours I think left in an audiobook. It's uh, Death Masks uh, by Jim Butcher. It's the fifth book in the Harry Dresden series. Um, of well, Dresden Files. Um, and I believe that that book clocks in on 450 pages or so on paper, so I'll count that as that when I'm done with the book. And I think I might be today or tomorrow at the very least. Um, and I'll start another audiobook, the next one in the series. And I'll f hopefully get about halfway of that, I think. Um, so yeah, but anyway, if I finish the hairdressing in book tonight, I will have read about 1200 pages this week, which isn't that bad. It won't be approximately 300 pages a day, and it will only be three books, but it's something, right? It's pretty good. I, I think it's pretty good. I've been in a reading slump where I've read, you know, 100 pages a week, so this is certainly a vast improvement. Um, yes. And I'm thinking, I have and a lot of the books that I have chosen or re-chosen, I've done a lot of different things, are are easy reads, quick reads, like Girl of Nightmares I intend to finish, start, in, start tonight maybe, finish tomorrow. And I expect this to go by like a breeze, really, now that I'm actually really into the story. I closed this other one and I was like, I should make the video, but man, I want to read this book too, so I'm going to get on that. And then I have the book to movie adaptation well, is not going to be the book to it's just too long and I'm just not that into it. So I'm going to have to read this not that at another time. But I'm choosing Mickey Nora's and Philip Pettis. This is a reread for me and um, I rewatched. <laughs> I've watched the movie about a million times. I think it's so adorable and the book is short. It's like 150 pages or something and easy read, fast paced. Yeah, it should be fine and fun. And then I have this, which is the genre that I haven't read much, and it's less than 100 pages. So I should get that done as well, and I think, hopefully, I will get one of these two done tomorrow, as well as the Girl of Nightmares book, and also listening to audiobook. Um, I'm planning a walk or a hike. I have. A uh, short walk or short hike, whatever. Uh, and audiobooks are great companions for those things. And finally, I have Phil Pullman, Calm Carlstein, a new novel, uh, which is the red cover. And um, yeah, I'll get to that hopefully. And if then I may just one book to get to seven books. A bit on the page count, but if I do seven books, I figure it's alright. Um, and I don't know what that last is going to be. I have to go to the library to hand in some books tomorrow. So I thought I might pick up another comic or graphic novel. Then I have these two um, books in the Night Side series by Simon R. Green, and uh, they're fairly short. And I'm going to tackle these if I have time left. You know, just to go for the page count. Yeah. So that's it. <laughs> that is uh, my whole bookchubathon so far. It's and you know it's not mm, I wanted to do more but this is what it is life happens and I am enjoying myself and I love watching other people's videos especially like the book tower challenge that they had uh, for the, <laughs> the win a book contest thingy that was fun I watched a lot of things fall to the ground quite enjoyable I tried making a tiny one with like the six books that I had around yeah didn't happen. <laughs> anyway, I hope anyone else who's doing the Bookchubathon is doing great and that you get some more done than I do, or at least you get what you wanted to get done. done. Mm. I'm going back to my books now, and I hope you are having a good time with the Bookchubathon if you're doing it. And so, I will see you tomorrow, maybe, and uh, uh, read some books. Um, bye.